Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to another episode of the Washington Commanders franchise here on Madden NFL 24 with the Commanders playing host to the Philadelphia Eagles continuing our trek through the NFC East with a third of our three division opponents and the Philadelphia Eagles. This is going to be a tough one. The Commanders have been playing good football but the Eagles have been on fire. If they didn't play in the same division as the Cowboys, they would be leading a lot of other divisions in the National Football League. Some say this is a tougher matchup on paper than the Dallas Cowboys, considering the Eagles have a very good offense and a very talented defense. So we'll see how this one goes. We're going to have to be on our A game. So if you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. As Washington and Eric bien gear up for Philly, as it'll be the Eagles offense starting off with the football, and we are underway. Quez Watkins is back to return the kick. He will take a knee, and that will bring out Jalen Hurts, the X-Factor quarterback, who has blossomed to a top-five NFL QB, has proven all the doubters wrong. 2,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, had a very good year. But this is a commander's defense that pitched a shutout last week against the New York Giants. Obviously, a lot different opponent here today is on first and 10. Here's a quick pass to Dallas Goddard. We had four catches, 67 yards last week for Philly in their victory. We've struggled against elite tight ends in the past, and Dallas Goddard is one of the best, so we'll see how we can do. Second and inches, there's DeAndre Swift, and he meets Jonathan Allen, who's lived in opponent backfield this year. Has over 40, yes, 40 tackles for loss. Third and one, Jalen Hurts with the keeper, gets some great blocks downfield by Lane Johnson and company. That springs him for a 29-yard run. Hurt, obviously, a threat with his legs. He's already got Philly into enemy territory. Next play, gives it up for Swift, who makes a nice cut to the left. And he picks up a nice solid run of seven on his second carry. Second and three now. Hurts going to take it. Gives it again for Swift, and he's going to get close to the marker. They're going to give it to him. He meets Drew Tranquil, who's recently come back. From a foot fracture for this commander's offense. That is a big boost for them. First and 10. Smith gets away from Benjamin St. Juice and finds the end zone. The 2020 Heisman Trophy winner, Devonta Smith, strikes. And that's a 7 0 lead for the Eagles. That'll bring out Kirk Cousins in this commander's offense. Cousins playing a lot better in the second half of the season. Still a high interception rate at 17, but he's been taking better care of the football since the fifth week of the year. They'll start off at their own 25-yard line for their first drive of the day. He's going to hit Devin Singletary out of the backfield, who makes the move, and Singletary picks up 20 through the air. Commanders had a struggle with the ground game last week, so they're trying to get the running backs more involved in the passing game, it looks like. And this is another good, stout Eagles line, led, of course, by Jordan Davis, Hassan Reddick, Alex Weatherspoon, and company. So a two-yard pickup for Singletary in his first carry. Now here's Antonio Gibson, the superstar running back, who picks up five on the screen pattern. It's an early third down for the Commanders. Cousins will go to the air. Fires short. He has Jahan Dotson who gets the first down. He also missed a couple of weeks with a foot fracture. He's back and healthy though and gets his first catch of the day. Nice run outside by Singletary. Good blocking on the edge. This brings him for a first down run. And now Washington's put together a very good first drive. They're out to the 26 of Philadelphia. First and 10. Cousins hit as he throw. Gets sandwiched between a couple of defenders. That pass is incomplete. Empty here, second and ten. Cousins in the pocket. Floats this one across the middle, but he can't find Mo Alley Cox. Blanky coverage anyway by the former Bill Micah Hyde. So early third down for Washington. Cousins floats this one to the end zone. He had McLaurin, but Darius Slay gets a nice hand on it. Great recovery there by big play Darius Slay. Washington does kick three, however, so it is a 7-3 ball game. As now Eagles, their second drive begins with a one-yard loss. After a negative three-yard run, it's now third and 14, and Hertz throws one in the dirt, not on the same page as his wide out. And that's a punt force by the Washington defense. Their second drive of the day. Here's a run by Singletary. Picks up three. He's had a decent start to this ball game. Second and six. Now Antonio Gibson will check into the game. Quick pass across the middle, and he tries to hit Curtis Samuel, but that one's incomplete. Darius Williams, the former Jacksonville Jaguar, with a nice incomplete deflection. Third and six, Cousins checks out of the backfield, finds Gibson. They're going to mark him an inches shy, pushed out of bounds by Bradbury. And Washington will go, will punt, not going to force it early. So back with Philly, that one's offline, trying to find Smith and Hurts. 
A couple of errant passes now in this game. Second and ten. Going to throw for it again. Pulls this one deep right side. Looking for Watkins, but it's incomplete. Cameron Curl there. And it forces an incompletion. And now it's a third and ten. But it's a quick pass up the seam. And again, Smith beats St. Just in press coverage. And Devonta Smith gets down to the 33. That's the second time this game he has beat Benjamin St. Juice on the press. Something to watch out for. Now first and ten. Quick crossing pattern. This was caught by Brenningstuhl, the former Clemson tight end. Who, yes, I need to change his player model. Trey Turner is hurt on the play. He will be okay. He'll actually return shortly into this game. It's now second and four. Swift bounces off a couple of defenders and picks up three. Third and one. Hurts making some changes. It fires a quick pass for Goddard, who holds on through contact. One of the best catch and traffic tight ends in the National Football League. He moves the sticks. First and ten. Another quick pass to Goddard. This time, he doesn't get anything, but still holds on to the football. Second and 10 now, Hurts gives it up for Swift, who finds a little bit of space, breaks a tackle, and picks up eight, makes it a much more manageable third and two. Three tight ends in the formation, it's a pass, and it's of course Dallas Goddard who gets free. A goal to go trip now for Philly down at the two yard line. And they're gonna keep three tight ends in the game, give it to Swift, but he's gonna meet Jonathan Allen. And that's technically a tackle for a loss, another one in the book for the X-Factor D lineman. Next play again, this time Swift able to find the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles, their second of the day. They take a 14-3 lead to end the first quarter as their offense still firing on all cylinders. We'll start the second quarter with a second and two. That's going to be a third and five. Gibson's first run of the day ends in a negative three-yard run thanks to Hassan Redick. So now third and five. How about we pass it to Gibson out of the backfield, and that, that time it does work. First down pickup for number 24. He'll stay in the game as Cousins sees a matchup he likes. Tries to find his man McLaurin up the seams. That one's incomplete. Micah Hyde almost with the interception. Lucky it wasn't. So they go back to the ground game, second and 10. And that's going to be wrapped up by Jordan Davis, the superstar D tackle. And now it's third and 10 for Washington. Cousins throws this one short for Ali Cox, who gets marked three yards shy of the first down marker. And this time Washington, we're going to go for it. Why not get aggressive? Heavy blitz by Philly, and it's incomplete. He had Samuel, but Cousins missed fires, and the center, Ricky Stromberg, was hurt on the play. So nothing on that trip for Washington. Gives Philly the ball back, and there's a negative one-yard run. Now an incomplete pass makes it third and 11, and Hertz is going to go play action here, and he's going to step up right into the arms of Montez Sweat. Sack for Washington. That punts the football away. So no damage done as there's a first and 10 that gets absolutely walloped on Jordan Singleton. Singletary, excuse me. Now third and eight. Cousins in the pocket. Tries to fire for Gibson in the backfield, but he gets marked shy. Big hit by Miles Jack. And Washington's offense are going to have to punt two. As it'll be Tressway deep. The lefty punter booms this one, and it looks like a good one towards the corner. It is. Goes out of the three-yard line. And the Eagles now backed up their own end zone. They're just going to try to get out of the shadow. And it's third and six, and Hertz is going to go down. They're going to say he got out of the end zone. I don't know if I agree with that one, but it stays 14-3. to three. The defense does a good job thanks to Tress Way, and it gives Washington short field, and it's even shorter now thanks to Singletary with a first down catch. At the 23 now, Cousins looks right side, has a man wide open, it's Scary Terry. He gets Washington goal to go down at the 7 as he continues his great season up over 1,000 yards. Naked bootleg here, first and goal, dumped off to Singletary, who powers forward for a 3-yard pickup. He might be small, but he is mighty. Second goal, RPO for Samuel, who breaks a tackle, and he finds his way in the end zone. Touchdown, Commanders, off the back of number 4. That makes it a 14-10 game going into the two-minute warning where Philadelphia does have the football, but they're punting the ball away. That is Ethan Evans, the second-year man at a Wingate, punts this one back, and it is an absolute beauty. It goes out at the two-yard line. So a coffin kick now for Philly backs the commander's offense up. They're just trying to get out of the shadow of their own end zone, but they're going to end up in it. Tyler Davis with a safety, and that's big. 
because the Eagles get two points, and they're going to get the football back with basically two minutes to go. Washington gets the ball at the half. They were looking to get some sandwich points, but now Philadelphia has a chance to get some points of their own. So a six-point ball game after the safety. Here's a first and ten grab. Nice readjustment there by Dallas Goddard. Second and one now. Hurts back to the air. Quick pass. Guess who? Dallas Goddard picks up a first down. Well, Philadelphia is actually eating a lot of clock. We're inside a minute now. As there's a quick pass for A.J. Brown, who just flat out drops it. It does stop the clock, however. So second and ten with 55 seconds to go. Hurts in the pocket. It's collapsing. He's escaping. He's going to run, and he's going to pick up five. And now Philly will use their first timeout. Third and five. How aggressive do you get? Hurts, he's not even going to have the chance. He's sacked down, and he fumbles it, but it's picked up by Jordan Mailata. But that ends the drive, and now Washington gets the football back. First and ten. They have two timeouts in 30 seconds. They dump it off for Singletary, who gets out of bounds, and he's close to the marker. Inches shy now. Gibson checks in. Play fake for him. Cousins wants to take a shot. Floats it deep right side. It's incomplete. He had McLaurin, but let him just too much out of bounds. So now you're third in inches. 23 seconds left to go. Cousins in the pocket. Rolls out to his right. Being chased. Tries to dump it off for his halfback, but he gets intercepted. Picked off by Miles Jack. A big turnover because now Philadelphia is well in field goal range. He had a man open, but Cousins just missed him. And now Philadelphia with 13 seconds. They could take a shot for the end zone if they want to. Instead, they check it down short. It's a first down for Goddard. But they're just going to wait and bring out the field goal team. And they'll kick three points and take a 19-10 lead into half. Five points basically gifted to Philly to end the first half. Washington can't be doing that if they want to get back in this ball game. We'll have to see if they do in the second half. Washington playing strong against Philly, but currently down by nine points. But let's check in in the rest of the action here in week number 15. We'll start off in Cleveland, where the Browns play host to the Cowboys, who lost for the first time last week, and they're currently down 13-7 to to the Browns. Could Cowboys be slipping a little bit? Second game is going to be in the Meadowlands. The Giants, after being blanked last week, they're beating the Panthers 14-3. to Daniel Jones trying to rebound. As no Saquon Barkley, Will Shipley carrying the load, but they're up against the Carolina Panthers. Finally, in Detroit, the Lions playing host to the Seahawks. The Seahawks trying to hold on to their playoff chances. They're currently down 14 to 10 against the Lions, who are also a fringe on the border. We'll see how that one goes. Back to our action here now as the Commanders start the second half of the football at their own 17-yard line, and Singletary is going to get bottled up. Eagles' run defense has been very good since the first drive, not allowing Singletary and Gibson to get going. Second and eight. Here's a catch by Mo Ali Cox, the tight end. They're going to say that's a first down. We'll take it. So now at the 28, handoff for Singletary. He is going to go nowhere. A loss of three for the former Baltimore Raven as Jordan Nwosu and company was there. So now second and 13. Cousins fires across the middle. And he has McLaurin. Nice catch there by Scary Terry. Ball throwing a little behind, but good poise by Cousins. And it moves the chains. Now out to the 43. Handoff for Gibson, who's going to run right into the arms of Nakobe Dean. Only Gibson's second run of the day. Second and seven now. Alec or Jordan Singletary. Devin Singletary, excuse me, checks in. He picks up two. And it's quickly third and five. They'll go play fake to Singletary, and Cousins gets hit as he throws, incomplete, and that'll end the Washington drive thanks to the former Ram, Deshaun Hand. So now Philly, their first drive of the second half. They begin at their own seven-yard line thanks to another good Tressway punt. It's a four-yard pickup by Swift. Just trying to get some space, but it's not going to matter because there's a false start on Lane Johnson, and that'll back him up now second and 11. Their own six. Gives it off to Swift, who finds a little space left side, but there's another flag on the play. Two-yard gain is going to be negated by a holding call, but actually Washington, they're going to decline the penalty. They want the third and nine instead of the second and 13, just trying to get off the field here. So Hurts now back to pass, right side, and it's Dallas Goddard wide open up the seam. That gets some space, and it continues his monster day. So now you're in your own 26. It's a quick pass for Quez Watkins who gets away. And then Cameron Curl with a touchdown saving tackle. That's going to be a quick 28. 
Now you're into enemy territory. Hertz pulls the football back. He has some space, and he's going to pick up a first down out to the 29. And this drive has got a lot of promise now for Philly after being backed up at your own end zone. Play fake next play. Hurts short. It's Goddard. Another catch, and he breaks a tackle, stays in bounds, and he picks up 15. Dallas Goddard has been a problem today. Another red zone trip for the Eagles. They give it to Swift, who meets Allen before powering his way forward for a gain of three. Makes it second and seven now. Hurts again gives it to Swift. Finds a little bit of space. You mean Davis to bring him down after a gain of four. And it's third and three. Bunch to the right. Does Hurts go to the air? He does. It's Dallas Goddard short. But this time, Commanders don't allow him to get the first. Johnson wraps him up a yard shy. And Philly's actually going to go for it here. Fourth and one. They give it to Swift, and he's not going to get there. It's Robinson with the stop. A rotational lineman gets the big play, and that is nothing for Philly after a long drive. The only problem is Washington is backed up. Four-yard pickup on the ground makes it second and six. Cousins tries to throw it short, and there's a lot of contact. No flag, and it's incomplete. Third and six now. Cousins up the seam, and he had a man. McLaurin open, but he just overled him. That's a quick three and out for Washington. And since they're backed up, the punt gives Philly pretty good field position. They're already in Washington territory here on first and ten, and there's a, another three on the ground for Swift. He only has 44 yards on 18 carries. Second and seven. Hurts again to the air. Jump pass. Finds Goddard. What a play by Jalen Hurts to find his favorite target. He gets out to the 27. Empty here on first and 10. Hurts rolls to his left. Fires as a cutting man, Smith, who picks up four. Hurts is very good at keeping his eyes downfield in the face of pressure. He's shown it today. Back to the ground here. It's a pickup of four, and it makes it third and two for the Philly offense. Hurts to the air. Fires across the middle. It's Dallas Goddard wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. And now Philadelphia has jumped up to a 15-point lead. They're going to try to make it a three-score game, and it does work. Two-point conversion is true to A.J. Brown, and we have a 17-point game here in the fourth quarter. Three scores, not looking too promising for Washington, who begins the fourth quarter at their own 33-yard line. Tries to connect with Moali Cox, but it's incomplete. He can't hang on through the contact. Third and two now. Trying to set up a screen for Devin Singletary, and it's going to be swallowed up. A loss of one, and now with the fourth quarter down by three scores, you have to go for it. Fourth and three. Cousins tries to dump it off for Singletary. Has to make one man miss, and he can't. N'Kobe Dean brings him down. That turns the football over, and that is going to be a hard one to come back from as there is a massive hit on Kez Watkins, who's hurt on the play. Second and 10 now, handoff to Swift. He runs into the arms of Jeremiah Trotter, who's been relatively quiet today. And now Philly just trying to run down some clock. Well, unfortunately, they're not on the same snap count as Trey Turner will cause another false start. Third and 12, a couple men in formation here for Philly. As Hurts just dumps this one short, and Swift will stay in bounds to keep the clock moving. And then I'll give Philly three more points. It's now a 30-10 to 10 game. So with the clock winding down at 10 minutes, Cousins and the offense got to start to get going here. As here's a nice catch and run for Terry McLaurin, who gets them to the Philly 30-yard line. Next play, Cousins to back to pass again. Has a cutting Mo Ali Cox this time, who picks up a first down. The crossing patterns have been their best friend today. There's now a red zone trip. It's a give for Gibson with a nice jump cut. Only his fourth carry of the day. Picks up eight, easily his best run. Second and two, it's a bootleg for Cousins, who's trying to keep his eyes downfield. Tries to get rid of it, but he can't. And Johnson will bring him down for a big-time sack. That makes it now third and 11. They just hand it off to Singletary, trying to get some more space. But he only gets two yards. And again, Washington will go for it. A field goal does you no good here. Fourth and nine, Cousins floats this one right for Mo Alley Cox, but he can't connect. And that'll be another fourth down unsuccessful try. Fortunately, Philly didn't do anything on offense. So, again, Washington back with the football with about four minutes to go. As this one's starting to become the end of it. There's a seven-yard pickup. Second and three. Cousins empty in the pocket. Stays in it. Flows it left side. And he has a wide open Curtis Samuel who finds the end zone. 
Second touchdown of the day for Curtis Samuel, as that'll be seven points. And it'll make it look a little bit more respectable as we go into the two-minute warning now. A 13-point ball game in favor of the Eagles. But the Commanders do have the football, so this one's not over yet. It's a big third down. As Cousins in the pocket floats this one deep right side, it's incomplete. But there is a flag down. And they're actually going to get Miles Jack on some pass interference. A little bit of contact downfield. I thought it was just let him play, but hey, I ain't going to complain. So Washington gets gifted a first down here. As the next play, Cousins will throw this one short for the rookie tight end, Eric Ali. He stayed in bounds, unfortunately, so clock will continue to run. As on second and five, Jordan Davis decides to make his presence known. He stops Singletary for a gain of one. Third and four, Cousins again back to throw. He's going to be flushed. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to get lit up out of bounds after a pickup of one, and it's another fourth down trip for Washington. This time, Cousins will throw it short for Brown, and he'll have the first down, so they do convert on one fourth down attempt. Only a minute seven left to go, though. They go draw play to Gibson. Not sure if I agree with that one. It's a loss of three. As the clock continues to run, you got to start to take some shots to the end zone. Next play is a screen, and it doesn't work. Sacked down by Weatherspoon. And that's going to be a timeout here for Washington. Now third and 22. Cousins taking a deep shot left side, but this one is intercepted. That'll be the dagger. It's big play. Darius Slay with the INT. Just not enough air underneath it. He read it the whole way. And that'll be how this one ends. The Eagles come away victorious by a final score of 30 to 17. Eagles were just too much in this game. I had a feeling this would be a tough one. We hung in there in the first half, but we just gave them some free points at the turn of the half, and, well, they just never looked back. Just a tough one to lose. The offense too good. Dallas Goddard had 13 catches for 112 yards and a touchdown. I hope you had him on your fantasy team. And it was just too much to handle. As we'll drop to 6-8, and eight, and Philly will win their 7th straight game and get to 10 wins. We did have one injury. Ricky Stromberg broke his thumb, so he'll be out for the next three games. So we'll have to rely on our backup center in Nick Gates, who did start some games for us last year, so he has some play with us. He's more of a run-blocking center. And if we want to, we also have third-round rookie Bryce Foster out of Texas A&M as a backup. If we want to give him some playing time, he's more of a pass-blocking specialist. Here are scores around the league in week 15. Dallas loses again, so they drop two straight. They now sit 12-2 and two and only have a two-game lead over the Philadelphia Eagles. The first game I want to take a look at is this game between the Buccaneers and the Raiders. And it doesn't seem like an interesting game, but this was the second start in the career of J.J. McCarthy. Last week, he had four touchdowns and a win for Tampa Bay. So Pickett gets benched, and what does McCarthy do? He throws for 94 yards. Not a good second showing, and he's actually been benched, so... The two-game J.J. McCarthy era is over, and Kenny Pickett is back under center. Sunday Night Football, two division leaders. It's the 49ers who get a big win, 28-24. to That's a big win for them because they're starting to entrench themselves in the NFC, and they went to the Super Bowl last year, and this is a team you don't want to get hot. And then finally on Monday Night Football, the Ravens beat the Saints, 28-14. to Jackson had a pretty good game as he had three total touchdowns, one in the air, two on the ground. He's trying to win his second MVP performance and get the Ravens to their first Super Bowl under his leadership. Here are your players of the week. Bo Nix throws for four in Minnesota. He's trying to make his case for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Neal had that two interceptions and a loss to the Raiders. Oluokun of the Patriots now had an INT as well. And Justin Herbert threw for four passing touchdowns out there in Los Angeles. Here's a look at your playoff picture with only three weeks to go in the season. The Vikings are still the seventh seed. They have a game lead over us, so we're not out of it yet. The 49ers get up to the three spot. And they trade places with the team they just beat in the Falcons, and the rest is pretty much the same. Next week, we'll be on the road against the Arizona Cardinals as we continue our trek against all the bird teams in the NFC. As the Cardinals were the team that beat us to begin our first year in the franchise, and I do want to avenge that loss. I think we're a better team than Arizona. They do have a lot of young talent. Jared Verse, their first-round pick. Arojo Rowe starting. They have a couple of good players now on defense. Christian Fulton out there. 
So it's not going to be an easy matchup. Buda Baker's still out there in the desert as well. But I do think this is a team we should be able to handle, especially if we want to make a run at the postseason. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.